nothing like Victorian Alberts, especially, why did I just say that while there was a crying baby? Okay, not bougie at all. We're just at a nice Disney restaurant that we enjoy. So, she brought us out nice waters. You know, I was thirsty, so I drank some up, but yeah. Good water, doesn't eat anything. Okay guys, so I ordered today my drink, a frozen cappuccino that's caramel flavored. That is absolutely amazing. Refreshing, great coffee taste. I love this kind of stuff. So, and also, I ordered my meal as avocado toast and cheesy potato hash browns. So, I'll see you then. All right, so how was your latte? Because, I mean, my drink, this bad boy right here, oh, so good, so yummy. Okay, back to you. So my latte was excellent. So it winds up they have the Joffrey, and besides having coffee and lattes on the menu, they can also put flavoring in, you just have to ask. So I actually had a vanilla latte, and in addition to that, I had it made with non-fat milk. Instead of cream, they can do whatever you want, and it is excellent because they're using Joffrey's coffee. Very, very good. Okay, Alrighty guys, so after 11 o'clock, you have to request if you want biscuits because they're not sure anymore. So let's go try some. That's a really good biscuit. I like the flavor. I like the nice butter. I did not put in the orange butter because I think I tried that one time and hated it. But I just put in this butter, normal butter. So yeah, those are good. So I use the orange butter and it's delicious. So I think it's really just a matter of personal preference, but their orange butter is really good and you can even see the orange in the butter. Yes, that's really true. Also, really Kali doesn't like orange butter. Oranges. Right, so of course she doesn't like, like orange butter. Exactly. They're very good. The biscuits are excellent. It's kind of like how I don't like seafood. Yes. Yes. And the biscuits will come automatically before 11 a.m. And after 11 o'clock, you just need to request them. Yes, and what are you guys getting as your meal? I'm getting the chicken and waffles, and I'm getting the lobster thermoburger, which is exceptional. Thermidor, excuse me, which is exceptional here. So these are the three items that we've gotten today at the table. So this is the avocado toast, which looks yummy, and it comes with some tomatoes. And I also got some cheesy potato hash browns. So now we got the chicken and waffles, which look really good. There's two pieces of big fried chicken, a waffle, a strawberry, and some sauce. So you can ask to either have it on the side or on top of it. And then we have the lobster thermidor burger, which I would hate because it has lobster. As you all know, I hate fish. But people at this table come here always to get this. So it's definitely a wonderful meal. And those are our three things, and we'll let you know how they are. Alrighty guys, so I got my food as you had known and now we're going to try it. I already ate up one, it was so good, but let me give you a good food review. Really the avocado is nice and creamy. I definitely love I definitely like the texture, especially the first piece sheet. They had um, smaller cuts of them, so it wasn't too much cream. So that was really good about the first toast. And the first toast also was not that crunchy on the edge. So definitely first toast was better, but still delicious. I love the garnish. I almost didn't have enough left to put on this one. Um, so yeah, this was just a great piece of avocado toast, the other one, and this one's still amazing. Now for the potatoes. You got that creaminess, you got the crunchiness, you got that flavor, you got the long sticks. Oh, they were so good, so enjoyable, definitely love this meal. You might be asking, oh, are the tomatoes bad? They probably taste good. I haven't tried them. I hate tomatoes, so yeah, we we're just not gonna eat them. So that's my meal. Here's my mom. You all know her. She was for Canada, but that doesn't matter in this video. So let's us tell you how your well pretty dumb food on your plate was. 
it's a very large portion, so uh, you may find a little more than you can fit, which I did, but it is exceptional. It is so good. They do such a beautiful job. The burger, I asked for it medium. It was medium. The lobster, they're very generous with on top of the burger. And then instead of the fries, I had the cheesy hash browns because they're very good here. So, how was your meal? My chicken and waffles were amazing. The waffle was the size of the plate. It was the full-size Mickey waffle. And it was, had a really nice filling. It had a really nice crunchy exterior. It was very airy and fluffy too. Very easy to cut into. <laughs> the chicken was fabulous. Um, it had a great cornmeal crusting that made the extra crunch. The chicken was very cooked very well. Um, it tastes really good, like a very good fried chicken and not very greasy. I came with a sriracha honey sauce that I did not particularly like, um, but you can ask for it on the side or on top. So I recommend you get it to the side because you can always just put it on top. I do like the sriracha honey sauce on the dinner, which is not on the Mickey waffle. And I also had Colleen's tomatoes with her avocado toast. Yes, these guys. And they were fabulous. So if you're getting thinking about getting avocado toast, don't skip out on the tomatoes. So you two both, uh, how would you rate this meal in total from one to 10? Nine ten. out of 10. Nine out of 10? 10, ten, ten for you? Yes. Well, actually, maybe a 10 out of 10. And yeah. this, is, this is a hidden gem that people don't realize they should book, right? They're so busy thinking, oh, I'm gonna eat the park, I'm gonna eat the park, I'm gonna eat the park. I'm telling you, you're missing out. You really should try the Grand Floridian Cafe. Honestly. You will not be disappointed. Great service, great food. Absolutely. So you guys recommend definitely going out to other hotels to try different places? Oh, um, absolutely. Some of the best food is in the resort. So you right. definitely don't want to miss them. Okay, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, I totally also think this was like an 8 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10 for me. Alright? Alrighty guys, so I got a Mickey jar. Now you may not see it on the lunch menu, but you can still get it because it's okay for lunch and dinner. Uh, but it is on the dinner menu. So this is really cute, really good, and I'm going to go and try it and let you know how it is. Alrighty guys, so now we're going to go and try the Mickey jar. That's delicious. If you see in the inside, there's some white stuff. Not positive what that is, but the chocolate part, and it all just works so well. Now let's try the raspberry. Nice and fruity. That's okay. I'm not into the fruity syrup stuff, but they make the jumps great, and I can't wait to eat it. Alrighty guys, so I want to inform you on what the waitress told me. It's Oreo cream filling, so it's a chocolate part over it, that Oreo cream filling, and then of course Disney shaved chocolate, so nice, yummy, and also I forgot to try them with ears, so let me try it. Chocolate, I love chocolate, chocolate's my, like, one of my favorite things to eat. So yeah, Disney makes great news. So this is delicious, and as I said before, let me go finish it, and I'll see you afterwards. So Colleen was sweet enough to let us all try her dessert. It is yummy, and the raspberry sauce is perfect. It complements it so well. That is one seriously good dessert. It has the whipped cream and raspberry sauce. It's amazing. The whipped cream is super good. Um, it's a pretty dense whipped cream, but it would taste great with the uh, the Mickey dough. So. And do you like it by itself? Yes. <laughs> you are a whipped cream lover. Yes, I am. Hey guys, I had so much fun today eating at the Grand Floridian Cafe. Stay tuned for my next video coming out, which is my Grand Floridian Cafe bloopers video. But you guys know the drill. It's your turn to like subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment what you would like us to do.